President Biden is meeting with business leaders in the shipping and trucking industries to try to figure out ways to avoid Christmas coming a little late this season. And Natalie Brandt has more details from the White House. The White House announced workers in the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California, are moving to 24-7 operations to clear a log jam of goods sitting offshore. We are processing right now as a country record levels of containers and other goods coming into our ports already. The issue is that this, there's even more demand than uh, the supply chain can support. FedEx and UPS are also committing to expanding their operations. Gene Soroka, the head of the Port of Los Angeles, says his workers are already moving record numbers of goods, but the ships keep arriving. They're averaging six days per week of work since the beginning of the COVID-19 restrictions here in March of 2020. And that's why we keep moving so much cargo, but it's still more on the way and we've got to keep shipping at that. There are similar bottlenecks in ports around the country as the increase in online shopping has fueled more imports, but there's a shortage of truck drivers to help deliver the goods. And the end result is a lot of businesses are going to be under pressure. I think you're going to see businesses not be able to make their Christmas, their holiday shopping season targets uh, because they can't get the inventory in stock. The supply chain issues are already impacting the U.S. economy. Retailers are charging more for just about everything. The Labor Department announced inflation rose again in September. The Consumer Price Index is now 5.4 percent higher this year compared to last. Probably going to see higher prices persist right through the beginning of next year, probably through the end of the first quarter. With goods stuck in ports and prices on the rise, experts say it's better to start your holiday shopping now to make sure you get those gifts on time. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, The White House. The Biden administration says it's working with states to try to speed up the process for getting new truck drivers their licenses in order to help with the trucking shortage.